The Losing Winner, a weekly review of completed design contests where we try to figure out something very important. What the hell were they thinking? Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com and welcome to The Losing Winner, where we'll delve into the soulless practice of design crowdsourcing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, just to preface this, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm going to try to get through this without coughing up a lung. I have a cough a bit. But anyhow, so for our first contest here, we have this winning logo design for Attorney Finder Pro. And this guy won $299. Uh, so, of course, when it comes to these logo design contests, one of the most overused fonts, I would say, is this. And I believe it's called Trajan, or Trajan Pro. Uh, and so a lot of these entries stuck with this, especially when it comes to fields like attorneys or whatever. Try to avoid that as much as possible when you're designing. Uh, the major issue here isn't so much the type, though. It's this symbol up here. And that's because we have the AFP, which is a letter mark. And it's just kind of shoved up there into the... To the to the side and there's not much uh, white space between the elements here. We have this glossy effect here which hits and connects with this little arch going across here and you have a lot of different colors going on so there's a lot of clutter. So let's take a look at the other entries. Just taking a look at this, it's not the greatest, uh, but it's definitely a big improvement. We still, they're still sticking with the same font, but I, uh, in terms of the execution of the symbol and I would say the type itself, it's definitely better. This one, even though it's one of the typical familiar art going through the letters, I still think it's better just in terms of simplicity, and especially looking at the letter mark. So if we look at these three, we have the winner over here, and we have two uh, just randomly selected losers that submitted entries as the same other part, part of the same contest, and these guys completely lost when one of them should have definitely won over this one. So again, this is just pointing out the uh, the risks of entering logo design contest because you do not always win. The best design does not always win. So let's check out the second one. This here, uh, the designer won $455. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this little arm swoosh thing is or what it's supposed to be, but it's really cluttered. We have a lot of different colors going on here and it's just bad execution in terms of the symbol here. Not so much the type, but the symbol is a big issue, especially when we look at some of the other losers. So this one, much more simple. This could use a little bit of work, the padlock and the key, but uh, definitely better than the original. This one as well, probably my favorite. Uh, if we look at all three of these side by side, this is the winner and these two were submitted and they lost, so they completely wasted their time. Yep. Let's check out the third and final one. The major issue with this is the type, although the symbol definitely needs work because it's not very original. We see so many of these different types of uh, human I, action shot portrayals, I guess you could call them, uh, in this fashion. So it's not very unique. Uh, but, but yeah, the type, the two issues with the type are you have this font up here and this font down here. They're two entirely different fonts, and the issue is the height of the font. So you have this regular font here in terms of height. It's not too squished or it's not too tall, but then you have this really elongated in terms of height font down here, and that creates an issue of clutter. So let's take a look at a couple losers. I wish they didn't add this gradient because it really adds to the cl clutter, but if you ignore that, the type is definitely better and the symbol isn't too bad either, especially when you compare it with the winner. And then here's another entry, and of course a you know another Trajan Pro uh, font, but in terms of the font and typeface execution, uh, and even the logo, logo here, even though these are kind of overdone, definitely better when we compare these two losers to the winner here, and this guy won $450. And that is it once again, so yeah. Uh, check out designcourse.com. Make sure you subscribe here. I'm going to be doing a few more episodes of these just to uh, maybe get to six or seven episodes. I don't want to overdo this too much because uh, it's becoming obvious you know, what the intent of the show is. And I just want to get enough content up there so that people can really realize and aspiring designers that you really are just wasting your time when you're working and submitting to design course. So, you know, you could do it for fun maybe, but even then you could find other ways to to design and give back to people because the, the chances are winning are very, very slim. 
All right, so that is it. I look out for the next episode next week, and also either today or tomorrow, I will be announcing uh, the, I believe it's the 18th, designcourse.com design challenge, so look out for that video. All right, goodbye.